Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with Cairo who is going to be helping me film something that you guys have highly requested and it's how to take photos of male models or just doing a male photo shoot. So here we are in the park. It's really cold. Um, it's around three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, we're freezing a bit, but we are going to do it. We're going to power through. Before you get into this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell button to not miss any of my future uploads and let's get straight into the video. We're gonna start now, it's around 3.30 in the afternoon, so it's kind of getting dark. I think it's gonna be fully dark in an hour and a half. Uh, so at the moment, my settings are 200 of a second. Um, I saw 250, 3.2, I'm shooting on my Canon 5D Mark IV. Um, and I'm shooting on my 24 to 70 as always, my trusty setting. Perfect. Yeah, that's good. Increase the ISO to 400, yeah, that's nice. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. It is absolutely freezing here today. <laughs> So usually I find when I shoot with guys, I tend to shoot on a wider aperture. So I shoot on like maybe 35 or, and so on. And this way I get a bit more length um, in their body and so on. Kyra here is really tall, so we don't really have to worry about his height. But in general, if you are shooting with male models and maybe they're a bit shorter, this is always a good tip to shoot lower down and shoot on a wider lens like 35, for example. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. Take some close-ups as well. Nice. We have a pupper appearance. Yeah, that's nice. Great. Yeah. So another great tip for when you're shooting with guys, if you are not sure, if they're not sure what to do with their hands, it's always good for them to have layers. So if you have a guy to wear a jacket like her here, he can put his um, hands in his pocket and so on. It always helps to kind of break up the shot a bit and just make it look a bit more interesting. Nice. Yeah, that's lovely. So in general, when I'm shooting with male models, um, I always tend to go for more open poses like here. As you see, his legs are staying a bit more spread and his arms are open. So it creates kind of a bit more of a kind of stronger pose rather than just, you know, being very soft and more feminine, let's say. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but um, that's just the kind of style I usually prefer. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's lovely. That's really nice. Okay. Yeah, that's Looking nice. Good. <laughs> Hmm? He sat down and did something right. <laughs> he was like into it. Cool. Yeah, that's nice. That's cool. Yeah, maybe just like that, but like a bit more serious. Yeah, perfect. That's great. I think when shooting with male models, I do prefer sitting poses over standing poses. I think it's just more fun because you can have more dimension with them and you can make them look kind of a bit more comfortable as well. Um, I can be a bit more comfortable as well because I'm not that used to shooting with male models, so it's a bit easier. That's good, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's really nice. And can we get a few um, angry faces? Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, that's good. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, have this leg a tiny bit in front. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's great. Lovely. Yeah, that's cool. I love that. Okay. Yeah. What if you're kind of more like just, yeah, just, 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. That's that's great. And maybe look away. Yeah. And look there. Yeah. At the moment, my settings are ISO 600, 640, 2.8, and 250th of a second. Nice. And we kind of like, if you're like this, kind of like, yeah, exactly, kind of like bored to shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that. <laughs> nice. And can we get this hand maybe just a sign? Yeah, perfect. So we're just going to move to location here. We're going to do a few standing shots. Usually with standing shots, you know, because I find with males, it's usually the most awkward to kind of get them to do something with their hands. So it's usually easier if you have maybe, you know, hands in the pocket or like in the jacket. Also, another good thing is if um, the person is playing with their jewelry, if they have any, you have a watch, right? There you go. Watch and ring. Perfect. Um, you know, another good thing is like maybe playing with the hair or the head if you have very little hair. <laughs> There you go. So we'll, we'll try some of that and see how it goes. So again, I'm kind of ten, I tend to shoot on a wider angle. So maybe like 35. Yeah, that's great. And usually what I do is I shoot on 35, but I still come up pretty close to them. So there is a tiny bit of distortion, but it kind of works in, in my advantage, I guess. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Cool. As you should see, I'm shooting lower on the ground as well. Again, there is no issue here with the height for sure, but um, if you were shooting with somebody who's shorter, it would definitely work to your advantage to shoot lower down because it always elongates the person. And it looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So maybe if we can get a few shots when you're looking away. Yeah, perfect. Can we do maybe a few when you're kind of like, maybe like doing this, kind of looking over your shoulder? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But if you look the other way? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Perfect. And again, shooting kind of wider looks pretty nice. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Yes. Actually, can we do a few of those kind of just like you? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, that's lovely. And again, I'm kind of shooting a bit lower down. Nice. Yeah, that's lovely. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Crossing arms is pretty good. It always looks nice and... Um, Whatever the word is. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I love that. Cool. Yeah. Knowledge to be free from this gun. One shot. And I'm down. Oh, I know that all Yeah, and kind of look more towards me. I'm just like, yeah, exactly. Perfect. Cool. Okay. And let's have a few walking towards me now. I hope I don't trip and die. That'd be great. Okay. Yeah, cool. So for this one, because I'm using my Canon, it's not ideal because the focusing here is kind of dodge. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Cool. Yeah, that's nice. Nice. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I love that. That's really good. So again, nice wide stance is pretty good as well because it kind of 
tends to look a bit more masculine. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I love that. That's really good. I thought that we had it all, now I'm broken this scarred and I'm scared of it all, no I'm joking. This last one before we both freeze to death, okay. we'll just do a little sideways shot. Yeah, that's really nice. That's really cool. Yeah, I love that. That's really nice. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's lovely. Oh no. Oh, today's just not my day. <laughs> <laughs> and sit a bit further down again. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah. And look there, kind of over your shoulder. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, perfect. Great. That's great. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my behind the scenes. Please make sure to check out Kyra's Instagram. I'm going to link it down below as always. And if you did like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.